Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. I'm Pete with your word for the day. So if you're wandering the desert around Lake Havasu and you get hungry, what are you going to do? Are you going to go looking for a Palo Verde tree to find something to eat? Will you go to the nearest Ocotillo plant to see if you can find some nice juicy piece of fruit to eat? Of course not. In fact, the truth is that it would be pretty hard to find anything delicious to eat growing out in our desert. So keep that in mind as we read today's scripture, which is from Matthew uh, chapter 7, verses 15 through 20. Jesus said, Beware of the false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravenous wolves. You will recognize them by their fruits. Are grapes gathered from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? So every healthy tree bears good fruit, but the diseased tree bears bad fruit. A healthy tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a diseased tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Thus, you will recognize them by their fruits. So in this passage, Jesus is using the analogy of fruit trees to help us understand who to listen to for godly instruction. If you're hungry for some fruit, you need to find it on a good fruit tree. Jesus says, don't look for grapes on thorn bushes. And that makes perfect sense. If you want a good apple, don't go and look on a tree where the leaves are brown and white from disease. Go to a healthy apple tree and you will find a delicious apple. This is a lesson for us when we are hungry to know what God's word says for us. Jesus warns that there are false prophets out there who are ready to destroy you. They might look harmless and innocent at first glance, but in reality, they are deadly. Paul describes these false teachers in 2 Timothy 2. Paul warns that false teachers cause arguments and they encourage ungodly behavior. They upset people who are seeking to be faithful and they create controversy and division. So, who are you listening to? Is the teaching backed up by a life that pleases God? Does the teaching produce good fruit? Does it produce peace and obedience and faithfulness to God? Let's make this very practical for today's society. Do the people you follow on social media promote you to live at peace with others? Do they help you to rise above the political issues of the day and to pursue reconciliation? Or is the fruit of their words division and disunity? If it's a message of division, you might be listening to a false teacher. Do the people you listen to encourage you to obey God when it comes to your views and your practices on sex and sexuality? Let's face it, this is an area where our society has deviated from God's plan, and there are plenty of people preaching the opposite of God's word. So do your teachers hold up biblical standards for your private life? And finally, do you listen to those who are deconstructing their faith? There are teachers out there who would tear apart the foundation of what it means to trust in Jesus. Teachers like that are false prophets. So let me encourage you, Calvary family, examine the fruit of the teachers you listen to. Make sure they are truly pointing you to Christ. And if today's word has encouraged you, would you give it a thumbs up or leave a comment or share it with others? Have a blessed day, Calvary.